Drawing a building. In this section, you'll learn how to put together a simple building, including walls, doors, windows, and a roof. The Vectorworks wall object is very powerful. It allows windows and doors to be inserted directly into it. It's a hybrid object containing both a plan and a 3D representation. If you have Renderworks, you'll see textures applied to these objects also. Draw the garage. Open the file 3 Create Building. Click the Unified View button on the view bar. This will ensure that when changing to a 3D view, all layers will move in unison. Using the navigation palette, ensure that Buildings is the active layer and that layer options are set to Show Snap Others. This means you can see objects on other layers but not select or modify them. Click the Classes button and make Survey Garage Walls the active class. Click the Site Planning toolset and then click Massing Model. On the toolbar, click Massing Model Tool Preferences. Set the following preferences, leaving other settings on their defaults. Name, Garage, Show in Plan, Roof, Label, No Label, Height, 3000 millimeters, Floor Count, 1, Wall Class, Survey, Garage Walls, Roof Class, Roof Main, Pitched Roof, Check. Eve style, vertical. Display shadow in plan view, check. Click shadow settings to open the document preferences dialog. Offset, 0 0.2, factor of object height. Angle, use the slider to control the angle of plan shadows. Color, Choose a colour for your shadows. Opacity, 50%. Click OK to return to the Massing Model Object Properties dialog. Use Site Modifiers, uncheck. Use Grade Limits, uncheck. Click OK. Click on the lower left corner of the rectangle labelled Garage. You can use the Z key on your keyboard to zoom to the point if necessary. Move clockwise to the next corner of the garage rectangle and click again. Continue to click on each point of the rectangle up to the penultimate point. Press K to draw the final segment and close the shape. The shadow displayed by the massing model is useful. You'll see these document shadows later on a planting plan. The massing model is created. If you have Renderworks, the walls and roof will be textured differently because we've applied different classes to them. I've previously edited these classes to apply my chosen textures. You'll see how to do this later when the main building is finished. Draw the house walls. On the navigation palette, make Survey, House Walls, the Active Class. Click the Building Shell icon on the Toolsets palette to open the Building Shell tools. Click the Wall Tool and then click on the Wall Tool Preferences button on the toolbar. Set the following preferences. Overall thickness, 300mm. Click the Insertion Options tab. Height, 5,500 millimetres. Click OK. This has defined a wall with a thickness of 300 millimetres and a height of 5,500 millimetres. Click on the lower left corner of the house polyline at point B and trace around the house polyline. You can draw in a 2D or 3D view, whichever you prefer. And you can still use the Z key to ensure you are snapping on the correct points. 
continue in a clockwise direction and click on all the other corners up to the penultimate point. Press K to close the shape. You have drawn six walls. Note also that as you draw, the blue data bar is displayed for each wall segment. You can use this to control the length of each segment if you're drawing a building from a series of measurements taken on site. Using View, Standard Views, Right Isometric, change to a 3D view. Note that the walls and massing model also have a 3D representation. The building is displayed in a perspective view and is rendered using OpenGL mode by default. Insert doors. The door and window tools also found in the Building Shell toolset have a Preferences button on the toolbar that allows you to configure a wide variety of door and window styles. These can be inserted into walls at the correct position to properly represent access to the landscape and to represent the building in 3D. On the resource browser, click the Home button to the right of the palette to ensure you're looking at the resources of the current file. Scroll through the resource browser window until you see the heading Symbols Plugin Objects. Double click the front door symbol to make it the active symbol. Notice this has activated the Symbol Insertion tool on the Basic palette and that the symbol name is displayed on the bottom of the Resource Browser palette. Bring the cursor to the centre of the front house wall, looking for the midpoint Q. The wall will highlight in red to indicate that you are about to insert a symbol into it. Click once to set the position of the door in the wall. Click again on the outside of the wall to complete the insertion. Click the selection tool. Select the front door. On the object info palette, click settings. The door settings dialog is displayed. Click the general tab on the left and examine the range of settings available for doors. In particular, Notice that the size reference is set to rough opening, meaning the width of the doorway is being measured across the entire opening. This dialog is also displayed when clicking the Door Preferences button on the toolbar. Click Cancel to close the dialog without making any changes. Choose View, Standard Views, Top Plan to return to Top Plan View or use the standard menu on the view bar. Click flip on the object info palette to change the opening direction of the door. Insert windows. On the resource browser, double click the symbol named ground floor house window. Move your mouse onto the wall. It will highlight red. Click anywhere on the front house wall to the left of the front door and again on the outside or left edge of the wall. The window is inserted into the wall. Click on the settings button on the object info palette and note the range of settings available for windows. Click cancel. On the object info palette, click set position. Click on the lower left corner of the house, point B, and then click on the left edge of the window. The Enter Offset dialog is displayed. It shows the current distance between the two clicked points. Change the offset value to 1015 mm. Click OK. The window moves to the desired position in the wall. View textures on the rendered model. Note you can only apply textures and use RenderWorks modes if you have RenderWorks installed. Change to Right Isometric View using the View menu on the view bar. The default render mode in any 3D view is OpenGL. If you have RenderWorks, you'll see the model with textures including a brick texture and glass in the windows. Click the Selection tool. Click on one of the walls. On the Object Info palette, click on the Render tab. Change the following fields. Part, 
left, texture, class texture. Choose view, rendering, fast render works. This will change the render mode from OpenGL to a RenderWorks mode. You'll see the brick texture applied to the outside of the house and the quality will be better than with the OpenGL render. This is the texture I've previously added to the properties of the class Survey House Walls. I will complete the remaining windows and doors in this model for you. Create a roof. Open the file for Create Roof. In this file, the remaining windows and doors have been inserted to save you time. The textures have been applied and a driveway has been added using the Hardscape tool. You'll learn about the Hardscape tool later. The Roadway Straight tool was used to create the road. Choose the Select Similar tool from the Basic palette. Click Select Similar Tool Preferences on the toolbar. Check Class and Object Type and then click OK. Click on one of the house walls. All the house walls are selected. Choose Landmark, Architectural, Create Roof. Complete the dialog as follows. Eve Profile, Vertical. Thickness, 140 millimeters. Roof Pitch, 35 degrees. Bearing height, 5,500 millimetres. Eve overhang, 300 millimetres. Notice that Vectorworks will create the roof on the active design layer and in a class called Roof Main. Click OK. The roof is created and is made of six separate roof faces. Click on the Object Info Palette's Render tab Notice that the top part of the roof is textured with the class texture. The roof texture is derived from the properties I've already set up within the roof main class. Remember that RenderWorks is required to view textures. Click the Shape tab on the Object Info palette. Choose File, Close. There's no need to save this file as I have a pre-prepared file ready for the next exercise.